Hi Taurus, welcome to your general love reading for July 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Taurus. It is general, so it's not going to resonate with everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. Also, the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, Taurus, let's see what is going on with you in a love connection for July 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, so for the situation, we have the Three of Cups crossed by the Four of Cups. Okay, so it's like there's this desire for there to be a reconciliation, a coming together, you just wanna be happy, you or the other person. Um, but it's almost as if somebody's feeling either like they don't have the motivation for this or they feel like it's just too late or there's that it's a missed opportunity in some way. Um, it could even be that one of the two of you is feeling like the other one would reject this coming back together. Let's see for your energy. We have the King of Swords, the Moon, and the Knight of Wands. Okay, so I feel like, you know, you, it's like, you know what you want, you know what you want. Um, but there's some, it's interesting because even though you know what you want, there's some kind of confusion around how to go about it. Um, it feels like, you know, you're either doubting the other person or doubting the connection or doubting the possibility of being able to come back together with this person. And so it feels like you're kind of like all over the place. Let's see for them. And we are going to clarify and get more information for them. We have the 10 of cups, death and the king of pentacles. Okay. So this is someone who definitely does feel a lot of love for you, does feel like, or at least at some point felt like this could be um, a very happy connection, a very fulfilling connection. I mean, they wanted to have this love with you, but they're feeling like it's done. Um, something has shifted here, or they're feeling like something has shifted from your end, but they're feeling like it is done, even though they still want this. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the Knight of Cups, okay. So it feels like somebody is coming in. Somebody is making a love offer here. It could be you or it could be them. Really depends on the situation. Let's clarify. Okay, so let's see that three of cups with the four of cups. Eight of Pentacles, the King of Swords again, and the Seven of Swords. Okay, yeah, so I do feel like this is your energy here, um, unless the roles are reversed or just take it as it resonates. Um, I feel like you've put a lot of thought into this connection and into whether or not there could be a coming back together or a union of some sort. I feel like you're even now, like you're spending a lot of energy, at least mentally on this, but you're not acting on it. It's like you're kind of either not trusting it again, as I said before with the moon, I feel like you might not be trusting it. And so it's kind of like you're just turning your back to any thoughts concerning coming together with this person. Some of you might be dealing with a Pisces. We also have Scorpio, possibly an earth sign, another earth sign. Let's see. Yeah, those are the ones that are standing out the most. All right, so let's see. King of Swords for your energy. The Fool and the Chariot. Wow, okay, that's a lot of action here. Okay, so there's this part of you that really wants to take some action here. Um, with the Fool and the Chariot, though, it does feel like this is impulsive action, especially when you have the Knight of Wands here at the end as well. 
um, you f possibly feel like if you were to take action that it would be impulsive, immature maybe, irresponsible. Like I feel like you're having a hard time really sorting through like this. It's not a dilemma exactly, but it's trying to figure out whether exerting more energy on this or doing something about it, in other words, going for that reconciliation, you know, would that be in your best favor? Would it be reckless? Um, would it be irresponsible of you? And then, you know, are you going to regret it later? Or is it going to be something beneficial? I feel like that's what you're in the dark about. That's what you're not sure about. Let's see the moon. Okay, so we also have Cancer energy here. So pretty much all the all the water signs. So some of you might be dealing with a water sign. So for the moon, we have ooh the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Wands, Taurus. Yeah, this confusion, it's like, ooh, it's driving you crazy, it's painful. Um, you, f it's like you feel like you know what? Since you're not sure, and since you know this might be reckless, that there's a chance that this might be reckless, you're feeling like you just kind of have to deal with the ending of this, right? We have this ten of swords right above their their death card. So it's like you're you're trying to put a wall up, you're trying to put a barrier between yourself and this other person. Possibly you're afraid. You have this fear of getting hurt. Let's see the Knight of Wands. It does feel like you're moving towards taking that impulsive action. Let's see, Knight of Wands, why is the Knight of Wands here? The Ace of Pentacles and the World. Okay, <laughs> maybe not. Um, it feels like, you know, you're just kind of back and forth. Like on the one hand, you're thinking about this new beginning with the other person. And then on the other hand, you're thinking about just closing out this chapter for good. Um, so yeah, it feels like you're still in this unstable kind of an energy here. Let's see what's going on with them. And maybe this will help you if this is resonating, maybe this will help you to clear this up. So let's see, Ten of Cups for the other person. The Two of Wands and the Page of Cups. I mean, so far everything is looking pretty positive in this person's energy, I mean, other than this Death card, but then again, you know, this Death card is that there's some kind of an ending here, which may have been from their end, may have been from your end, I don't know. But I'm definitely seeing this person having a lot of emotions for you but they're holding back. They're holding back as well um, with this two of wands. So I feel like something may have happened here um, that you would know what it is and this could be why they're holding back. But they're definitely feeling those emotions. Let's see the death card. The five of wands and the eight of cups. So this person is reluctantly trying to move away from you, like they don't want to. So I don't know what it is that has happened here. Um, again, it's going to be different for each of you, but I'm seeing this person being very, very conflicted at the idea of having to let this go. They don't want to let this go. You're their Ten of Cups, they, the Page of Cups here. They're feeling a lot of emotions for you. For some of them, they might even be feeling apologetic about something. Again, the roles can be reversed and they're holding back. And I feel like they're holding back because you're in this energy that you are in where you might be the one who is not sure about this reconciliation. Either way, they're conflicted about walking away from you. They're conflicted about this ending. Let's see the King of Pentacles. The Hermit, okay, so Virgo energy and the Hierophant, okay, Taurus. So some of you might be dealing with the Virgo, maybe another Taurus. Um, a lot of Earth energy here. 
for this person down here at the end. So they're moving more towards grounding themselves um, in terms of for them clearing up what might be going on within them. So I feel like this person knows, just like you know, they know what it is that they want. They want this commitment. They want something long-term with you. They want um, stability, possibly even marriage. But with this hermit being here, I feel like, you know, they're, it's like they're hiding for some reason and it's not clear. And I feel like that's because it's going to be different for each of you or because you already know, because it might be that you are the one who is giving off that vibe that, you know, you just don't trust this or that you're just not sure if it's going to be, like I said, reckless of what this might lead to. During this time, though, with this hermit, this person is definitely learning a lot about their own self. I feel like they're gaining a lot of insights, but again, it's like they don't like it. They don't want to be away from you. So, yeah, I feel like it's up to you, Taurus. Let's see that Knight of Cups for the potential outcome. The Five of Pentacles, the Lovers, all right, Gemini, and the Queen of Wands. There's definitely a connection here between you and this person. And I feel like you both like basically want the same thing. You both have this desire for each other. And basically what this is, is that if someone doesn't act on this Knight of Cups energy, there's this feeling of loneliness. It's like you're both missing each other here. So yeah, I really feel like it's actually up to you. So it's gonna be your decision to make these are the energies that I'm getting for, for the other person. But of course, follow your intuition. You know your situation best. Um, definitely feels like there's a decision coming up for you, whether you want to take action or accept some kind of offer from this person. All right, Taurus, let's see. If this resonated, please give me a thumbs up and let's get the final oracle message for you. And we have return. <laughs> I feel like you want this. I feel like you want to return to this. The other person definitely wants this. Um, it feels like the ball is in your court, although of course it could be in the other person's court. Um, but there's definitely some kind of a push here from the universe for a return of this connection, all right? Both with the Knight of Cups being the potential outcome, and now we have return as the final message out for you. All right, Taurus, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.